Hello and welcome to PocketGamer.biz's YouTube channel. I'm John Jordan. So um, the game we're looking at today is part of our monetizer um, feature where we look at the monetization of free-to-play mobile games. It's uh, from Ubisoft. It's called uh, Sandstorm Pirate Wars. Um, just booted it up. This is our kind of, this is the, um, I guess, the kind of daily communication with the developers. So um, we can kind of neatly see what's going on here. Three missions available, Pirate Arena. We've got... Um, 24 hours left to complete the daily missions, and I'll receive a free free crate, like a free crate in 55 minutes. Um, okay, all right. So so far so good. Um, so I'm not. I played. i um, been playing a bit of this game for the last couple of days. Um, and it's kind of a interesting in many ways. Interesting. Ubisoft hasn't done a lot of free-to-play mobile games. Um, and certainly not done a lot of this kind of um, original um, kind of content. So it's done. Um, done some Assassin's Creed stuff, it's done some trial stuff, um, but this kind of game kind of snuck out really, um, we didn't know it was coming out, we didn't know it was in soft launch, we didn't know really anything about it until it came out, um, it's interesting in many ways, I wouldn't say it's it's the, um, probably because I guess it's an original content game, that I wouldn't say this is their kind of big bet for the year, um, kind of graphically we can see with the interface here, I mean, it doesn't look awful, um, but it doesn't kind of scream Ubisoft at you. Um, I mean, the, you can see this kind of ship in the in the background. That's my ship. They've kind of had a nice idea about how to kind of run the kind of, kind of like the gameplay, run the battles a bit like CSR racing, as we'll see. Without the racing, instead of racing, you're kind of blowing each other up. But um, they're quite detailed kind of um, models and, and quite good looking. But the camera kind of angles are fixed, so so that's kind of like li limiting the um, the kind of processing power needed, which is a nice trick. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's the whole free-to-play model we can kind of see at the top of the screen. We've got, I've got 84 fuel cells or power cells or something and 5,609 volts. That's the soft currency. The power cells is the hard currency. Um, you can see I've got this Raven. That's the name of the craft. It's only level 3 or it's level 3. And we can see some other bits here. It's, it's kind of a health and that's its energy. And we can see down the bottom there's some upgrade um, upgrade customised equipment. We'll look at that in a minute. But this thing's kind of flashing in the top right. So let's go in. This is our... This is the kind of the um, one of the monetization systems. So, uh, as ever, there's um, these crates kind of uh, it's kind of like the um, come out of the card battling kind of um, not that there's a card <laughs> battling um, not there's a card battling game at all. But um, if if I can I can spend I haven't got ten thousand but I can spend ten thousand bolts and get um, three systems mostly mostly common maybe a rare run so like um, the the more expensive. Um, obviously it's kind of random what you get out of it but, but the more money you spend the more likely you are to get good stuff so if we go to at the end we get seven systems many rare ones many rare systems at least one epic one I've not even seen an epic system don't know what that is but it's going to cost me 559 power cells clearly I'm not anywhere close to that um, so there's ships so we can see the one I've currently got a raven that's the, the first one you get I can buy a gecko that's going to cost me 7,000 um, and the currency so here we kind of see and so there's the the power cell basket, power cell, you know, the usual thing. So it starts off at four pounds. That's five dollars in US, um, up to eighty pounds. Um, that's um, ninety nine, ninety nine. Um, and then we can convert hard currency to soft currency. So that's all pretty much. We know this. This is what free to play games do. Not doing anything special here. So what is the game doing? Um, well, let's go and do something. Um, so we can go into the city so um this is kind of like the hub system it's a kind of mad max world it's not really kind of um played out particularly telling you about exactly what's happened it doesn't really matter it's just mad max world it's apocalypse post-apocalyptic um people are just driving around kind of shooting each other really um so we can go to the tavern um each kind of city has a tavern that's basically the the hub area where you go and get missions um so you can see this is kind of like um different <laughs> see these different missions here there's a Green one, or amber one, or red one. That's how hard they are. Um, so we can go in the sky here. So we can see the graphics here is again not not massively high end. I mean, it's kind of I think it's kind of a nice style, but it's kind of the text, you know, the font on the, you know, this kind of thing is not looks a bit placeholder really. I have to say. So anyway, delivery job. Take this to Gas Town. So there's this kind of uh, kind of narrative branching structure. So we can go outside the suitcase. Nothing interesting. It's closing. Okay. I mean, um, a bit odd. The whole point is you're in a post-apocalyptic world doing whatever you can for money. Why would you say? Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know what I meant. Um, so it's, it's a bit odd, I think. Um, so I've got 20 minutes to do this mission. Um, so we go to the map. So it shows me where I am. It shows me where I've got to go. Um, okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, oh, there's no, where's that one? Where's, where's Gas Town? This is where I get confused. Get to Gas Town and that is set back. Where is Gas Town? So this is one of the kind of problems with this game, I think. It's just very confusing about what you do. So I have this map structure and you kind of just bomb around doing stuff. Um, so this one, Restoles. Restoles. Okay. Um, um. okay, let's go up here anyway. Okay, so this is where I select where I'm going to go. Sometimes you have to have multiple points. And as you can see on the map, this is like a small part of a bigger map. Um, so let's go. And we'll kind of see how the the kind of the gameplay bit of it works. I mean, like most a lot of free play games, it's really this is all about the meta game. It's all about leveling up. So we can see these other ships come alongside me. Uh, so we're going to have a fight. So there we go. Um, so I have these... Let's move this out of the way. I have um, set up my ship. So it's different things. Um, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to take out, try and take out his shield. So I've got here a shield. I've got here some anti-missile measures. I can, I've can. i got this rage thing. Weapons rage is going to kind of fire out more. You can see his health bar at the top of the screen, my health bar. Um, so I'm going to win this one quite easily. I can switch to this other weapon and kind of target. Um, so it's very simple kind of gameplay. That's why I say it's like a CSR racing thing. Um, and you have this kind of little pre-canned animation. Um, and then at the end, so again, this is like the, the, the random thing. I can get one item for free, I can get two items, or I can, sp you know, for a soft currency, I'll spend, you know, a hard currency for three items. I mean, the, the game doesn't give you a lot of hard currency, so, um, you know. <laughs> and I think maybe this is kind of one of my problems with the, with the game. So here's a nice thing I can, well, not nice thing particularly, but a thing here you can... They use the every play system from Unity. You can kind of you can um, share the video or, sh or share the video on Facebook. But there's nothing really exciting happened. I don't know why you'd want to share that. I mean, nothing. <laughs> you know, is, the game happened, but didn't do some amazing trick or didn't the thing didn't blow up at the end. So again, they get the same thing. We see what's going on here. So there they are. They seem to rest up my legs. So there's this kind of plot going on really um, that you're supposedly following, but it really doesn't make a whole bunch of odds. So I'm going to do this. Try and take out his shield. That's the best thing to do. This this rocket launcher thing is the best at taking out shield, which is why I'm using it at the moment. If I just use the other weapon, even though it's stronger, the shield would kind of um, knock a lot of the stuff out, so it's less effective. So we can see his health bar's going down. We might see, maybe not on this one, sometimes my shield and my countermeasures go down. So basically, this is like a power system thing. So I have to sometimes switch out what um what power, what my, what my power is being used towards. So it's yeah, obviously like Star Trek, take the power down, use it on the shield and you know, all that kind of stuff. So you can see stuff's being blocked. There's, there's, just, there's just stuff going on. I mean, I'm not really doing a whole a whole bunch of stuff. Um, um, apart from just tapping, which again is why I think it reminds me a bit of CSR, and CSR has been very successful, so maybe maybe this would be successful, but I think CSR was successful because it was all about cars that we knew, um, and we getting more and more cars. This doesn't just doesn't have the depth of um, of of kind of structure or the kind of mission. It's, it's just a bit. I mean, this is, this has been going on now for I mean <laughs> for a while, isn't it? I'm probably not probably should focus been focusing a bit more on it, but. Um, you know, it's just not a very exciting. The gameplay is just not very exciting. I'm, you know, okay, great, it blew him up. Get my free loot because I can't. I mean, just it's very ungenerous. Um, I don't feel like wow, I did this. I got this great. But I feel like oh, that's a gr that was a grind. That was a real grind. You know, um, and now I've got to the next point. So this guy, the doctor, it gives me a reward. So it gives me some power cells. That's quite nice. You know, so I've completed that mission. Even though I didn't really know where I was going. So I can. So my ship's been damaged. So it's going to repair itself in forty seconds. That's okay. I could. I could do it now with the soft currency. Just go to equip. Let's see. So this is my. Um, obviously, so these are my the weapons I've got. Um, in kind of on the system on on at the moment. Um, we can see at the bottom there's a kind of how much how much power. Um, these are kind of ones that I've unlocked or, or, or kind of won or kind of found uh, but as, so if I want to swap one on I can swap the minigun on so it just tells me what it is um, but obviously that would be crazy to do that because the um, it's a very low powered system if I want to I could sell it the minigun um, so I could go there recycle that means it says recycle it but you're selling it really so it's a bit odd um, support so down here I can see I've got this 
this is my um, flare system so it knocks out um, heat uh, protects the ship against heat producing ammo um, and then I've got obviously a shield ah, so I've got this one here that I found I don't know what that is um, no, so that's, that's five flares compared to that one, so obviously I want to swap that one out. Don't need that one anymore. Confirm, just recycle it. So this is a slightly weird thing that you're not really using. In, in card battling games, you would be using the cards you collected to evolve other cards. Maybe that doesn't fit within this kind of kind of system, so you're just kind of getting rid of the getting rid of the stuff you don't need. And just kind of, you see, when I, I recycled it and I've got some, some kind of resources, um, and you need resources to upgrade stuff. Oh, oh no, they're not doing that. Um, okay. So if I want to upgrade this, I go there, and as you can see, I've got these resources at the top, 54 of the red stuff, but I need 415 of the red stuff. <laughs> so upgrade it, uh, wait a second, we're missing these items so I can use power cells to do it, so it's using my hard currency, I haven't even got that hard currency. So this is my kind of problem with the game, is the gameplay is not very interesting, and quite a little bit dull, and just kind of like, you can't, you know, in a lot of these games now, also Asian games you have an auto-play, I'm not really doing anything particularly interesting, I'd, I would auto-play that, you know, I want to, you know, I think the narrative in the game is kind of interesting, there's kind of a bit, you know, some characters there who might be interested in what's going on, probably it's not very deep, but the gameplay is just it's just a grind um, and it's good to grind in terms of grinding the meta, meta game I think I think people are prepared to go well I can spend money and not grind the meta game or I can grind the meta game and there is enjoyment to be found in grinding meta games I think um, but when the gameplay itself is boring and you can't auto play it and it just takes so long to get anywhere I just kind of think you know I just can't see how how um, I think it's a kind of solid game in terms of the mechanics but I can't see there's any fun in it really so there's this stuff you can like customize, um, play sixty battles, and I get a new nose. I can see that's nice if people are really, you know, playing it, playing it a lot, and you can. Um, but it's just it doesn't seem to be to me. It's not defeat a hundred raven ships. I'm not even close to there, you know. So I just kind of think it's in, it's a nice attempt. It's kind of there's sort of something here. It was just the implementation. So here's like a thing. Want to take a photo? Yeah, you know, the implementation just wasn't there, and I think that's a little bit because there we go. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. It's a little bit just because um, Ubisoft still, I, th I think, fundamentally just don't have enough experience in free-to-play games, um, and the ones they do are kind of like studios spread around the world. They have lots of studios. Um, and I just don't think to really understand free-to-play, you need to be releasing like one or two or three free-to-play games a year, and having that live ops team and really knowing and really honing it. Um, and unfortunately, I just don't think Sandstorm. Although I wanted to like it, you know, I kind of like the the the, the, the kind of the setting. Um, it kind of appeals to me personally, but I just don't think it works. So um, maybe you think differently. I mean, free to play, you can download it, have, have a crack at it. I mean, I think it's a better than a lot of free to play games out there, but I just don't think it's it's sufficiently competitive to um, to take to take time. Certainly, I've been playing and still continue to play Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes pretty much every day. So for me, a game has to be at least on the level of that game. Um, for me, for me to for it to take the twenty five minutes I spend every day on that game, so and that's kind of how it is with free play games now. You know, it's it's not how good is the game as a standalone thing. It's how good is the game compared to the competition of what everyone else is playing. You know, people still playing Clash of Clans after three years or Puzzle and Dragons after four years or whatever it is. So um, there we go. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we do a lot of this um, analysis of free to play mobile games. That's kind of what we do really. Love talking about them. Love playing them. So um, subscribe and then you won't miss um, anything. And hopefully you'll find some games that uh, that you like. So. Hope to see you soon.